Hello and welcome back. My name is Erik Reischel and this is part 8 of the tutorial on Beethoven's Waldstein Sonata. In part 7 we talked about the beginning of the introduction movement Adagio Molto. Now let us continue with the middle part and the rest of the introduzione. Here, for the first time in the introduction, there is something like a real melody. However, after a few bars, the music breaks into pieces again. Did you notice the difference here to the beginning of the introduction? Right, the end of each bar had sort of a filler. It is because of these motives that we can feel that the music is going onwards. We are approaching some aim, something new and important. And indeed, these fillers take the music forward now.
notice the difference between with this chord, G7, and the diminished version. The latter consists only of minor thirds and therefore has much more tension inside. The last note of the introduction, the G, will be the first note of the rondo theme. We will continue with the rondo in the next part. There are a lot of interesting features in this movement too, so I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye.